The Meeker County Bank, first organized in 1878 and moved into this building in 1881, one of the first brick blocks on Sibley Avenue. The Litchfield News Ledger noted, This institution is regarded as one of the strongest and most reliable features of Meeker County's business interest and is entitled to unlimited public confidence. That public confidence was the key to a bank's business, and the newspaper described its security, noting, They are occupants of a substantial bank building, provided with a spacious vault, fireproof, and a first-class burglar-proof safe, which is secured by one of the celebrated Yale time or character locks, making the institution absolutely impregnable to the encroachment of either fire or theft. Public confidence also meant that the bank was careful in its investments and was well managed, especially after the other bank in town, the Stevenson Company Bank, failed in 1890, leading to the suicide of its president, Hiram Branham. Branham was Litchfield's mayor at the time. What was done with the money? A newspaper story wondered, whether spent in gambling in grain or railway stocks or invested badly in real estate was unknown, but it was not in the bank. The Meeker County Bank, however, gained and then held that confidence during these boom years of the late 19th century. Upstairs, August Kerner kept a real estate office for several years. Born in Germany, he came to the United States as a young man enlisting in the Union Army soon after President Lincoln called for volunteers following the attack on Fort Sumter in April 1861. He was only 17 at the time. After four years of military service, Kerner moved to Meeker County and, using his clerical skills, was elected as Register of Deeds. After he stepped down from that post, he quickly established himself as the leading real estate agent in town. In 1894, he was elected state treasurer, a position that he held for three terms. One newspaper declared that Kerner had earned the reputation of being the most competent and careful treasurer the state of Minnesota has ever known. <laughs>